It's weird. <laughs> Afternoon, early afternoon. Just getting here. Spent the first uh, part of the day making the next episode, which is number 38. And I'm uploading number 37 right now. Janae's not here. Um, she actually started working. She grabbed a, uh, a job right now that is um, right before the new year. She's going to get some tax benefits. Anyway, she is. Um, getting a job. I may be going back to work as well. Uh, as we said earlier, this, this whole project, this whole project is, uh, has become way uh, 10 times the size that we first originally planned. So that is, a. Uh, I always say, you know, plan for, you know, things to pop up, variables and all that, like 10%. Well, no, we got a whole train. This was even locomotive, boxcar, caboose, doing the interior of the caboose, time and money. Um, but it's really cool and I don't know why not right so it's a Janae and I were saying for a long time why not let's do it make a train station theme and uh, so anyway so she's at work right now so there's gonna be going into Christmas time when the snow starts I'm gonna be working on more of the plans again updating the design plans with some of the changes including the caboose. I was going to do it a while ago but we just kept busy so um, good time to do that when it's snowing um, and you know work on the computer inside. So up through the holidays I'm going to be here for it's almost Halloween today's what what is say the 20th October I always forget I never did get a calendar in here October 24th so Halloween's coming up in a week um, you don't celebrate as much here as you did down there. Down there, the community I was in, um, we had around 700, 800 trick-or-treaters. And that's not exaggerating. That's counting. Sometimes we've counted candy in the years past. It is uh, insane. It's awesome. Uh, it's something that started from a Christmas light drive that I uh, kind of helped get going from the bats and they're continuing that and because of that halloween also went crazy so we're um they do an awesome trunk or treat up here which we did as we showed in the video last year we're not going to go this year because we were invited to a halloween party um that with some friends so we're going to go do that this year and not the trunk or treat uh next year we're going to try to get back at the trunk or treat with the trolley so anyway november i'm going to finish this hopefully in the next week or two we gotta do the lights, which we just got the last of the lights yesterday. So I'm hanging those up right now. And then we've got these other lights. I'm gonna try to rush with a few hours I've got left in the day before Janae's up and gets here and try to surprise her with those lights done. And then um, November, I'm gonna work on the exterior of the building. I just bought paint, uh, yellow paint and black paint for the eave underneath, yellow paint for the top part of the exterior wall and we're just going to try to do that little pop out area that way um see what it looks like see if we like it before we continue on all right let's get going enough talking let's get to work you got janine's favorite sweat sweater back on <laughs> It is comfortable. It might not be pretty, but it is comfortable. Nice. Look at that. It's a beautiful thing. Got lots of room in that, in that box there. To 
points. So what was that about? Eight minutes? Unboxing, unwrapping, putting the light up. It's so simple. Got those little rubber washers there. Make some nice good seal. Ah. These are made for outdoor. Keeps the and there's a hole bomb for drainage for water when it's outdoor in case water gets in there. But perfect. So I bought these lights on Amazon. And I saw this style that was bigger and when I bought these, I thought it was the same, but these are a lot smaller. I think it's going to look cool in here still, though. Versus the larger, I like that, I like that, um, that what do you call it, cylinder kind of look for these. So we'll see. When we eventually get power to this thing, I mean, those light bulbs, I think, are like, for... I think six of them was 25 bucks. It's not a big deal. Use them if you like them. If not, get different ones. All right, one down. So the copper wire is pinched into the connector here and it slipped out and it just wasn't on all the way. Okay, so I'm not going to trust that holding it down, but I did get it pinched in there. Just wasn't clamped, looks like, all the way down. Seven minutes, maybe a minute faster. Next. There's a magnet. I had the camera on it. Hopefully that didn't do anything. This one. That's what I this was goes talking there. about. That goes for this light over there. Oh. I want the hole in it. Alright. Now you're making sense. Sometimes 
kind of like cannot make sense. Oh, I can't put anything in here. Oh, you have to do it on the sides. The sides only. Just do two and two. Yeah. Man, this caboose is turning out awesome. Uh, late start today, worked on a video this morning. We have a car in the shop. Got the truck in the shop, the hub issue. And so Janae is using the other car right now, so I came down with the quad. Um, just working on this last light, get a couple hours in. So I'm putting in the conduit, it's painting, I already I didn't push play on the, or record on the camera here. I already bent it to shape. Yeah, I'm tired. Mm, ah. um, bent to shape and going to mount the third light. It's going to be the industrial light, like these up here. And then I'm going to work on the ceiling fan uh, outlet, which we got to create a box for that as well. And that's just going to go right in here off center just a tad. That keeps it away from the the pole here. And it's going to be much easier to mount than trying to mount a kind of like a box right in that crevice, right in that where it comes to a point. So, all right, I think this uh, metal is probably done drying. So I'm going to grab it and see if I can get it in there. back what time is it uh, late. it is late but we've already been working maybe an hour and what temperature so we, now we got this temperature gauge thing babe I know it's cool to have. it's reflecting okay, does that look better for it's me? almost 60 yeah, degrees in the caboose uh does it look better I don't know yeah you look great babe, I need to... oh um, yes, the stain looks great. Nice touch up. Okay. Perfect. And then, we need to probably, we're gonna have to touch up that dark stain everywhere. All right, so what our goal is today, it's been a few days since we've been down here. It's been cold. It was 12 oh, degrees yesterday. This. You mean up here? Yeah. All right. It's been 12 degrees. Yes, she's not listening. She was the one that was cold, so cold. Even freezing since. Um, but it's like 60 something high today. Anyway, today, what is today? Just to keep track of our Wednesday. time that we're spending on this Wednesday. crazy project. Today's Wednesday, the what? First, November 1st. 
It was Halloween yesterday. Watched a scary movie. That Dracula movie. <laughs> she doesn't like scary movies. Um, that's a classic though. So we uh, had some hot wings last night. Just chilled at home because our party we went to was Saturday. Saturday night we went to a party. We didn't do the trunk or treat this year because we were invited to this party. So that was fun. In fact, I'll show some pictures right here. So, Meg, it's video editing. Oh. You just add the picture on top of. But that's why my beard is weird because I did trim it down, but I didn't shave it. So I need to start over. So I think I might have to shave no, just in this. Blow it out. Janae has not ever, ever, since we've been together over three years, yeah, almost three and a half years, never seen me shave off everything. Babe, I don't want you to do it. I'm going to do it. I don't want you to do it. I'm going to do it tomorrow. I'm scared. Or tonight. Maybe I'll do it tonight. No. Okay, so today's goal for the next few hours. I just got done hanging the top here. Um, for the ceiling fan. Janae's been putting together the ceiling fan and just gotta finish this, put the wire in and then we're gonna put that up and then we have the trim already cut for the sides over here. Might have to trim it down just a tad. And we have a little piece up there. Oh babe, we didn't do this piece yet behind the door. We still gotta finish that. Oh yeah. Oh, we gotta touch this up too. I couldn't get it. I tried. We touch up. Well, I took the white, and then I got it on the black, oh. and then if I do the black, I'm going to get it on the white, so uh, there's no wind well, there. We'll do something. And then we're going to start cleaning up, and I think that's all we're going to get done today, because we were on the computer and had a nice breakfast this morning. But I think we're going to start on the floors, get everything cleaned up out of here, is our goal today, and maybe tomorrow we can start on the floors. Yeah. And then, um, oh, we should have showed the new light we just got for the building. It's going to get into the 70s. Um, low 70s for like a week so I'm gonna try to rock and roll on some oh, stuff yeah, yeah. Well, we'll try to get some stuff done this week we gotta get this sticky off that looks tacky oh yeah I didn't even notice yeah that's mm -hmm. where the sticker was oh uh -huh. there's one on each side you know a tip on that stuff is take a little lighter fluid on a napkin and it will come right off it's really awesome just don't light it Okay, let's get ceiling fan going. <laughs> Do you know what you're doing? No. That's what makes it more fun, dude. Just gotta figure it out as we go. Baby. It makes me dizzy to look up like that. Doesn't that make you dizzy? Do we have any lighter fluid? Uh, actually, I think in the locomotive there is. In the yeah, we had a good time at the party. It was. It was really fun. Most people dressed up. We dressed up a little bit. And it started early, so we went out too late. Maybe like Christmas vacation, plugging in the lights. Yeah, baby. Can we watch that again tonight? Yeah. Just love that movie. Halloween's over yesterday, and our first movie of the season is Christmas Vacation. Like, it is so crazy how easy that comes off. Oh, the Jerry did it? Yeah. One side. It's yeah, that tough. lighter fluid on any sticky stuff. I mean, it. I learned that back when I was a salesman. I was a salesman at Silo, the company Silo that went under years ago. And a guy there, sells another sales guy, showed me because he used to 
with those big TVs back then. We would do double-sided stickies and stuff to, you know, secure the remotes and alarms and stuff to the device, to the TVs and stereos. And so he showed me that you use lighter fluid. I was like, no way. That is pretty cool. That's what I did before when I got out of high school. I was a salesman. Refrigerators, computers. Back when the 486 computer was out, I think it was, I think the 386, I believe, was one, and then in the 486, I remember. Long time ago, I was. And to this day, um, Sim City on the game. On, I love that game. To build a city. That was pretty cool. Didn't even think about it, but I almost did again build a city in real life. The city of Santan Valley. It was something the county supervisor put me and another lady on a uh, application for the naming of Santan Valley in Arizona. So that was pretty cool. It was the application for historical, historical name change. All clean, no more sticky. Okay. Does it look good? There's the vice chair. Huh? Oops. Well, I was telling the, the camera, that was the vice chair of the effort to try to incorporate that area. At the time, it was like 60,000 people. And when we moved, it was like doubled in size, I think around 120,000. So this was back in 2010. And I think in, when we moved a couple years ago, it was like 120,000 and it's exploded since we've even left. It's crazy how much construction's going on down there. Babe, do you still love my curtains? Yeah. I do, I do, I do. See, aren't you glad I like yeah. those ones? Yeah, babe. So curious on why I got involved in naming an area. I was very involved with a lot of stuff, starting with Loop of Light, something my ex and I created, which was a big Christmas light drive for our community. And then that took off to lead a HOA, the large HOA for almost 1,800 homes. And that led to helping out with the incorporation efforts with meeting the county supervisor and all. And that led me to serving on the school board out there for four years. And then invested in homes and uh, committees. And then I actually was part of a silent effort of incorporating we couldn't get it done because of the surrounding cities. In Arizona, there's a statute, there's law that a surrounding city within six miles of the annexed, where it would be annexed, has the right to say yes or no. During that time, um, big recession going on with all the, the downsides of the market, Arizona got hit pretty big. And it would have cost them like, a, I think it was a million and a half of their budget for Florence and some other cities within the area based on uh, state shared revenue. So we lost those efforts and then we tried a silent effort where we worked directly with the managers of those cities, trying to figure out a way to come up with a map that they would be okay with and many attempts and still nothing, they wouldn't do it. So as of now, there is no incorporation of a huge area. A 
huge area in the east side of the valley. And I just realized some, there's some sad news. What? Matthew Perry passed away just on Saturday. Found out during that party we went to. Or, yeah, so what? Oh, that wasn't the 30th. I was thinking that was the same day as my kid's mom passed away. But um, no, it wasn't. What, what, what day was Saturday? 28th? 20, yeah, 29th, 30th. Yeah, so that was the 28th. Never mind. For some reason, I was thinking there was something special about the 28th. What was... I don't know. Okay, we are done.
Yeah.